Hi and welcome to another episode of Pierce Plays Guernsey FC with me Andy and we are here for the start of our fourth season. Um, if we look on the little league history graph, our first season we ended up fifth in the Bostick South East Division 1 and went up for the playoffs, which was amazing. Then we came sixth, one place off playoffs in the Bostick Premier and um, then we sideswiped across to the Eberstick Premier South and finished ninth. It was a, a, a tough league last season, must admit. Um, so we're looking for some kind of progression. That would be nice. It would be lovely if we could get into the playoffs. It would be amazing if we could win the league because that's the only way you're sure if are going to go up. So, uh, yeah, um, looking at little bits and pieces here. Sean Stewart is now our captain. Now, um, we let Ed Palmer go at the end of the season. He was rapidly dropping off in um, sort of his attributes uh, so Sean stays on he's a really good sort of defensive midfielder to have in there as well not our best Arthur Warren is our best defensive midfielder but Sean Stewart plays a good anchor man and that's going to be useful because that's a newish tactic we've got yeah Josh vice captain again another player who's a little bit older so therefore hopefully would have a little bit more um, sort of oomph with regards to his leadership and whatnot and our key player and we discussed him very Yes, a little bit in the last episode because he was bought right near the end of the season. Actually, no, after the end of the season, is Ugo Okoli Agunana. Um, now, if we look at him, he's a rank four and a half stars for us. So, I mean, he's. I mean, he's. Yeah, he looks really solid. Um, he wants to be a centre mid. I'm going to be playing him and training him as an advanced playmaker and attack. Um, been. Playing around with a new formation that involves an attacking midfielder because we've not had one this save. He can play there and play there well. So it's something I've been looking at. But if you look at his physicals for a 20-year-old, physicals are, yeah, they're all pretty solid, apart from stamina, which is a bit of a bugger with regards to him being a midfielder. Attacking midfielder may be a little bit less because he might have to do less movement. Hence the, the possibility of playing him there. He's determined and has good vision. Yeah, that's cool. It's what he needs, especially if he wants to be a playmaker. Passing's okay, yeah, technique's okay, um, and yeah, everything that he really needs to be an advanced sort of playmaker looks good to me. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting season, this one, with regards to Ugo. We look at his career so far, he actually was at Woking and never played in the Vanarama South. Went to a club called Poulton, who have been having quite a few players um, sort of looked at via them, uh, and scored nine goals in 33, but this is what are like 7.12 average from midfield so yeah yeah looking forward to seeing Ugo um, coming on if we have a look at this year's sort of this season's transfers that come in now Henri Smith left side of defender two stars is actually ranked uh, as good as Tamil Roach um, so he's been playing quite a bit um, if you look at what he's got there uh, Relatively good physicals for a 19 year old, pretty good mentals as well, I like the look of the mentals there, and I mean 10 tackling, 8 passing, 7 crossing, maybe as a sort of a, maybe support fullback or a wingback could be useful. Jake Eels, he's coming on a free from Paul Town, who we played today. Um, yeah, he's a free star defender, so he's up there with, with Tom Bruce, which is superb to have another defender who can come in, he's only 22 as well, so it's, again it's youth. Um, but if you look at what he's got, again, nice physicals, 13 acceleration, 12 pace, 12 of natural fitness and 14 strength. So a nice, strong, relatively tall, uh, sort of six foot one stroke, six foot two centre back. Uh, good leadership, 10 and then nine marking, 11 tackling. I think he's going to do a, a real nice job for us. And then Blake Davies, um, a Welshman who was playing for Scholing. In real life, they're doing really well. They're a, a, a a team on the up and up in the lower reaches of, of English football. Um, yeah, as a striker, three stars. So he's uh, at the same level as Robbie Legg, uh, but just a little bit under Ruben Wilson at the moment. 12 finishing, 12 first touch, 11 heading. Looks nice, 12 pace, 13 acceleration. Yeah, could do a job for us as a poacher. So, yeah. I, lot, I know there are only three. These are the only ones I'm able to get because, again, people just don't want to join. I think the, the signing of Ugo was a real major one. It was like the first proper signing that we've, we've been able to make. Um, I think our reputation, even though it's still only half-star, has gone up a little bit. 
just a little bit and that's enough to maybe get our foot in the door with regards to getting some more players in I mean if we look at the scouting and um, have a look on the player search now these are the sort of players that I can get on loan and they're Vanaramas and then if I look again at um, going up a level there are only two Vanarama League players that I are even relatively interested in coming in on loan if I put slightly interested it makes no difference if I look at League 1 for instance that's uh, sort of League 2 nada so I don't think the loan players of, of teams that are in Vanarama or Vanarama North and South which are only one league above us remember are going to make any difference so it's um it's difficult I can't even get loanees in that are going to make any difference which at this level would be massive because as you've seen from lots of different saves from lots of different content um, providers if you can say Vanarama South level you can sometimes get loanees from like the championship but our reputation is just not high enough to do that so yeah that is a, a problem for us if we look at the competitions again just avoid relegation that's all they want the team wants to finish sort of mid table which I'm sort of okay with but the teams that have come into this league could make it very difficult so if we look at the profile uh, season preview sorry we're not bottom, Swindon are, but we're not bottom, which makes a little bit of difference. I think this was like 950 to 1 last year uh, when we started the season. But South Shields have come in, uh, sort of come across. If we look at where they finished last year. Um, they finished ninth in the Euristic North. They are now, they've got all these players on 400 quid um, or more. They've got quite a few player so this this Wrighton um, he's South Shields Smith Davis Bell Herdman all in the, the um, media best 11 so <laughs> yeah I think even yeah even Andy Firth so as a team they're going to be really difficult Scarborough we know about um, from last year they seem to have lost quite a few of their higher paid players so that's good Michelover are a new team into our, our division um, if we look at where they finished last year they were in the Northern Premier in 12 so a lot of Northern Premier clubs have sort of moved across us they've not got much in the way any more so than we have on wage so that's pretty good uh, Farmer we know about Hungerford and Staines so we know all about these guys um, we've just got to take that little step up really do it this season so today yeah if we go to schedule Paul Town, we know about Paul Town, we played them last year. Uh, they've got a couple of players on 300 quid and they've got lots and lots of um, non contractees. So we're going to go to the preview. We're at home, which is good. Yeah, as you say, we've drawn one and Paul have won one against us. We've got team selection. So this is the formation I've been looking at, um, keeping it really narrow all down the middle and playing all of our best players which basically are on midfield um, but we'll start with obviously Liam Triggs um, brought in later on last season he's free star wants to be wing back which is brilliant because this plays with wing backs uh, really marauding up the wings to give us a little bit of width yeah so we brought in um, Andy Byrne later on no, it was earlier last season. He didn't really get much game time because he didn't seem to really connect with Tom Bruce. But we're playing them together at the moment. And Jake Eels, if we look at, say, central defender, they're all three stars. They're all very close. So I think Jake Eels will be playing a fair bit as well this season. Um, and Henri Smith on the left-hand side. Tamil is there or thereabouts as well. If we look at... I mean, he's shown as a one and a half star now, which is a bit bit of a shame. Maybe because um, Hugo has sort of moved the stars a little bit. Yeah, Sean Stewart, Stewart playing as the anchor man um, and captain as well, which is nice. We have the captain on the pitch most of the time. I'm hoping that will make a bit of a difference. With Arthur Warren, Josh Wakefield, and Charlton Gavain, so all really good players. The only one that's not getting in the starting lineup is Charlie Higgins, but he'll be coming on first change, so he'll get a lot of time. 
if anybody gets injured, he comes in. He likes playing that attacking role. And Charlton, I think, has still got pretty low. Yeah, his eight natural fitness and eight stamina means he does run out of puff really quick. Um, yeah, Ugo playing as this advanced playmaker role. Um, again, lovely physicals for this. So I'm looking forward to this. And Ruben up top as the attacking forward. Uh, we're playing a wide formation. Why are you playing wide? It tries to get the midfielders out of each other's way a bit. Just sort of pull it out a bit. It's not a wide formation because we've only got wing backs. But by calling it wide, it does do that. We're playing the overlaps because of the wing backs. Um, and everything else is very similar to what we've been doing last season. So they know how to do it. Higher tempo. We're not pressing or regrouping. We're just going to counter. So we're going to leave, leave that to whatever the situation gives us. Um, and everything else, yeah, much of a muchness. Higher line though, just to spread it a bit, because we've got all the lines there. We've got five lines of players, so spreading it up the pitch a little bit. And just to look at the uh, the subs, so Justin Hone, our, our giant young goalkeeper, seventeen year old, to uh, oh, yeah, six foot five goalkeeper, um, might get a bit more at game time. I mean, yeah, Tommy Scott. Two and a half stars is showing. I think he's a bit better than that. He actually played really well last season. We've got a good uh, goalkeeper's coach. We have just li literally a quick look at our staff. We had a few changes. The main one being our assistant manager. Um, I think I'm going to get one if, new one every season just until one works. doesn't look amazing, but it's got 14 determination and it is professional with personality. Um, see how that works. But if you look at the, the whole of the sort of set up, apart from attacking and technique, we've got the best training across the whole, best coaching team across the whole leagues. Best recruitment team, which doesn't really help if you can't recruit anybody, and the best physio. So that can't be bad. But if we go back to the team, yeah, Charlie Higgins, Jake Hills we talked about, yeah, I can't remember his first name, it's Blake, Blake Davies. Um, yeah, remember James Warby from last year. He's really coming on. He's two stars now and coming on really well. Marcus Walden. So I've got these guys. If I want to get width later in a game, we can do it. And because we've got so many midfielders, all our best midfielders are basically playing, I've bought Jimmy Roberts up from... And he's one and a half star now. He's from the under-18s. Might get some game time, I think, because you're going to get some knackered players. I really need another midfielder. That will be lovely. And as you can see, there's lots of players on, on um, trial at the moment. It's getting some little diamonds in the rough, but not many. So that's the team. Um, and everybody seems to be fit to play. Um, had a really good pre-season. We actually beat Everton under 23s in the first game of pre-season, which was amazing. Lost very narrow. I think they were 1-0 to Bristol under 23s as well. So they've, they've had a good go at it with this formation. And I've got a full-back formation possibly for away which is basically a 4-1-4-1 so or a 4-4-1-1 even oh it might be the 4-1 with a de defensive midfielder but yeah we'll uh, possibly have a look at that when it comes to it but because we're playing at home it's the first game of the season don't want to go revenge because something yeah, yeah they like revenge and uh, faith and let us do this let's see how it goes got one thing to do look this I'll, I'll go back to that in a second um everybody on top of each other at the kickoff i'm gonna yeah push on there um, basically hugo should be able to push and press on their defensive midfield and really give them a good good going over so look at that i've found that a lot in this um so far this season i mean yeah this is kickoff but you will get loads of play loads of times in play where you get three players all converging on the same ball. Never happened in real life. Never happened. What are they doing? <laughs> they just stood there. So, Henri ball through. Ruben. <laughs> what a start. 13 seconds into the new season. That has got to be our fastest goal ever, I reckon. So, Bruce, see over to Henri Smith. What a ball. And the ginger assassin... Dang, what a goal. <laughs> and that was amazing. I am going to just literally... That is 13 seconds. Wow. Was not expecting that. 
One nil will do. I'm happy with that. One nil every game. That'd be fine. Hopefully we'll be up by March if we did that. Imagine that. If we'd be up by February or something, you'd win every game one nil. One nil. <sighs> I don't even know what the table's on there for at the moment. There's no point in doing it. Let's have a look at... What should we have a look at? Focus of attacks. Just see what's happening. Yeah, so we attack down the middle. A little bit down the left. A little bit down the right. That's our wing backs, isn't it? Okay, so our highlight, Triggs, but Mendy gets in there. Triggsy again to Sean, to Joshy. Get it across, that's it, it's Arthur. He's got a little bit of space now, Arthur, into Charlton. Great ball to Henri, back post. Oh, it's a shame. And you go. That's a shame. Collected by Ford in goal. Long ball out, Liam Triggs into Charlton's in there, yep, yeah. Arthur. Good ball over. Ruben's got to finish. Oh, shame. Should have been 2-0. Should have been 2-0. Liam Triggs corner. Oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> Was it a corner kick to us again? So it's obviously hit the defender or he's headed it or something. Triggs again. Ruben, goal, 2-0. Come on. 25 minutes gone, 2-0. That was a lovely corner. Ruben really got in there well. So, Trigsy over, yeah, unmarked, bottom corner. Goalkeeper, put people on your posts, mate. I'm gonna pause, oh, we've got a highlight again. I'm just gonna put the praise in. I don't like these highlights. They're pushing on us a bit. Arthur to Henry, Henry to Sean, as the anchor man. Charlton, Sean, oh, he's had it taken off of him. Oh, good save, Tommy Scott. And that's well cut out as well by Liam. Yeah, a bit lucky there. That was a, a bit careless from Sean at the back. God, you go. Arthur's only on 70, 76% already. He hasn't had a knock or anything, has he? That's a bit mad. Um, he might might be coming on, uh, coming off even after about 55 minutes by the looks of it. I want to keep him on at the moment because obviously 2 0, but. And it's a highlight to them to end the half. Josh gets in there, good ball over, nobody there. And Andy Byrne, well in there. Josh to Charlton, to Hugo. Sean, great ball out to Henri, got a little bit of space. Ball over. Liam, Hugo, oh, should have been free. Or could have been free. Maybe not should have been, but. Half time, 2 0. Five shots each. We've got a little bit more possession. Um, yeah, I'll have a quick look at this and I'll come back to you for the second half. So Paul start the second half. Not done anything yet. Uh, got the possibility, I think, as Arthur, when he gets to sort of 70%, I'm shocked at how knackered he is. Um, yeah, eight stamina, five natural fitness is the killer for him, isn't it? So our defence, solid. Um, yeah, go... It'd be nice for him to be not liking it, is he? Um, what I'm contemplating doing, right? So, you guys not liking playing an attacking midfield role. Arthur's knackered. So, what I could do, because Arthur's shattered, um, I'm going to bring Charlton. We're going to go two attackers. And I'm going to bring. Yeah. Josh in to be that sort of anchor in the middle of midfield. Hopefully, because they're playing support defence, I'm hoping they don't get in each other's way. Arthur shattered, so he likes playing attack. Now, um, now Blake Davies. If we look at him, he likes playing up front. He's not really suitable left, but he can play as right, but he can play left. Or James Warby likes playing left as a winger. What a wide target man, which could be could be interesting playing him as a wide target man. What how tall is he? Because that makes a big difference. He's 188, so he's not not an inconsequential chap. Um gonna bring James on. Play him as that wide target man in support. 
and just have a quick look at his personalized instructions for this. Now I want him to sit narrower because I want the wing back to keep unhinderedly going up the wing because Omri Smith has been playing brilliant. So I'm, I'm happy with that. As regards to everything else, I don't know. I think at the moment I'm gonna leave that, just get narrower, get in the pitch a bit and he might start occupying more of a central role there. Um, so I'm going to confirm that in play. So they're upping their tempo a bit. And it's there, oh, just over. Just over for their free kick. Let's get to 70. So our boys are all looking a little bit tired. Okay, now Charlton's on 71. Got a perfect player, uh, player to come in for him, and that's Charlie Higgins. So let us do that. Charlie makes his season debut. A Charlie for a Charlie, pretty much. At one point we had lots of Charlies, but we've only got the couple at the moment. 80 minutes gone, so we've got some tired, tired little boys out there. Now this is the issue, because we're very midfield centric as a team at the moment with this formation. Now, I'm tempted to take Hugo off and put Marcus on and go wide, just to change things up a bit, because Marcus, yeah, I could do that, have. Josh, yeah, and he came Get up. I need him to sit more narrow though. So if I have a defensive wing on support and have a look, he's got personalised instructions for defensive wing already. I'm going to sit him narrower as well. Then uh, yet again, he's not getting in the way of our wing back. So we're on positive at the moment as well. Wondering whether we come back to cautious. So Marcus makes his um, season debut. And, oh, I thought something had happened then, but obviously not. What's going on now? A really weird little part, piece of play. Henri Smith to just Mr. Warby. Stuart, good ball over to Rubin. Nobody's coming for you, mate, hit it. Oh, good save from forward. Could have been a hat trick. And corner, Walden, not very good corner. Sean Stewart, <laughs> okay. Not good enough to even look at. I'm gonna demand a little bit more for the boys. Free kick, Walden. Wilson's there. Good ball, oh. Charlie Higgins, get it out, get it out wide. That's it, Ruben, now I'm running with it. Charlie Higgins, oh God, pinballed it. Henry Smith, nice. Marcus Walden, you gonna do him on the outside? No, Josh, out to Marcus, bit bit wider. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. And that looks like that might be that. Very successful first day of the season, two nil. Paul Town um, had a bit of the game. Yeah, we only had seven shots, but we were potent in that first bit of the game. Yeah, dressing room. Very pleased with that, boys. I'm very, very, very pleased with that, boys. Well, superb. Good start to the season. I've got a few little games in a row here with Weymouth and Pontefract where, yeah, shatteredness is going to be a problem. It's going to have to change formation for them, I think, just to give midfielders a rest. But, yeah, 2-0, good start. South Shields, 5-0 against Western that doesn't help Western Superman when you get players sent off after eight minutes. Um, yeah, cool. Um, anything on here that's going to be of any... No. Smith makes debut. Yes, that was a very good debut as well. I was very impressed with him there and Ruben. Good boys. Right, so we will look to come back. Because again, this is the third season at this level, so I want to rattle through them. I'm going to come back for the FA Cup game. 4th of September. 
Uh, we'd have had five, six league games done by that point as well. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully have a good idea as to where we sit. If you liked today's um, episode, yeah, please leave a thumbs up on the video. That'd be immense. Um, subscribe for this now every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday because the other three days of the week we have the Volcan save, which is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking, really enjoying the moment. I think it's going to be really interesting when we get up the leagues a bit in Russia just to see how they, they get on. But yeah, yeah, thanks very much for watching and um, yeah, hopefully see you soon. Bye. Mm-hmm.